Okay, by popular demand. This week on Behavior Breakdown, we're going to take a look at Billy the Cat, a cat that allegedly uses buttons to speak English. I'm KP, a marine biologist who specializes in animal behavior. A few weeks ago, I took a look at whether or not dogs could use buttons to speak English. And if you missed it, there's a link to that video right up here. Last time, I was accused of cherry-picking videos. To be honest, I watched one video. Just one video at random. This time, I'll watch Billy's most popular videos, which I would assume should be the ones that most represent their case. This one's called, Tell Me Your Cat Is A Jerk Without Telling Me Your Cat Is A Jerk. Uh, I like that, I agree with the title. Oh my goodness, okay. He's cuddle. You wanna play cuddle? Okay. <laughs> I don't know what I'm supposed to be seeing here. So here's my issue, right? The, the use of the button cuddle, we're supposed to assume that the cat wants to cuddle. Person sits down to cuddle the cat. The cat immediately does not look like it wants to cuddle. So then we assume that the use of the button no means that the cat has changed its mind. It really wouldn't have mattered what button the cat pushed. If the cat pushed the treat button and then wasn't interested in a treat, the human would have assumed that the cat changed its mind. And that is confirmation bias. I suspect there's another form of bias happening in these videos, but we'll get to that in a second. Let's finish this one. You want, oh, you want the food mousey? Okay. Which is the human pushing those buttons. Yeah, I, I'm trying. I'm really trying, you guys. Like, there's just nothing here. Like, nothing here. <laughs> okay, okay. All right, all right, all right. How many times do I have to tell you to come when called? Billy speaks. Come soon, Billy. Why, baby? I was gonna say something nice before before that wild extrapolation, but um, I was gonna say the cat does appear to be more deliberate than the dogs, who in my mind just seem to be walking up and stomping on things. But I also think that's just a difference between cats and dogs. Cats always look like they're thinking things through far more than dogs. <laughs> So the bias I referenced earlier is something called anthropomorphic bias. And that's where we assign human behaviors or ideas to animals. In all of these button videos, the animals push the buttons and the human recreates the words coming out of the buttons to make a sentence with them and create meaning. I was, I was watering the plants, Billy. I'm sorry.
Okay, and then there's there's an asterisk here saying anger. If you hadn't seen the word anger pop up on the screen and you were just watching a muted video of a cat, you would have never said that is an angry cat. Humans can recognize the behavioral cues for an angry cat. Arched back, hissing, puffed up hair. We all know what angry cats look like and it's not this. Now remember, I'm not disputing the fact that animals can communicate with you. In fact, that's my entire point. Animals are communicating with us all the time using body language and a number of different things. Just not buttons. I came soon. Before mom comes soon. It didn't take that long. So see, the, the cat keeps touching buttons and looking up at the owner. The cat wants something, and I don't think that it matters what. <laughs> If you gave the cat a toy, happy cat. You gave the cat a treat, happy cat. You give the cat some ear scratches, happy cat. If you were actually training an animal to associate an item or an idea even with a specific button and a specific sound, you would press the button in Congress with showing them the object or the idea that you're associating that word with over and over again until the animal understands the basic concept. But in these videos, we're just clicking buttons. There's no association. There's no way for the cat to possibly understand what any of these things mean. My other problem is that all of these buttons are so similar looking, even to a human, and these were designed by a human. I feel like the differences are so subtle, so minute. I, I like this one button that is very large and has a big picture of Billy on it. That's a very discernible button, but all of the other buttons look almost exactly the same. Is that a squirrel? Yeah, it is. You're so stealthy. Definitely does not know we're coming. Hey, look, okay. That's, that demonstrates an understanding of what the squirrel is saying. It said squirrel alarm call. Yes. Yes, we don't even need the buttons. We understand the squirrel far more than we understand the cat. I just don't know what to tell you guys. Uh, for those that unequivocally believe in this, is there, is there any scenario in which something would happen that would make you not believe it? It's confirmation bias, if that's true. Because I honestly see zero evidence. And you know guys, I'm not the only scientist who's skeptical about this. I'll post some links in the descriptions below. Let me know what you think in the comments and I'll catch you next time. I'm KP, a marine biologist. Is that me? Yep. I got nothing here. Um... The first I got nothing is not a good YouTube video. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't see, we can watch another one. Should I watch another one? I don't understand. The human understands how to use the buttons very well. One thing that I never see happen in these videos is for the human to stop and go, okay, I think Billy is confused at this point and is not understanding what we're doing. You never see that happening. That would of course happen, right? Like that, if this were true, I'm going off obviously on a tangent here. 
if this were true, if if the animals, if the dog, the cat, whatever it was, could learn to understand these sentences, there would of course be times, just like when you or I were learning English, that we got something wrong. And that never happens in these videos, right? You understand how that doesn't make sense?